Farrow's point didn't just earn the win, the pointers stole it. En route to claiming the Class 1 and North baseball title Monday, Sticky fingered Sparrows point, 17-7, swiped seven bases, taking advantage of a sometimes molasses-like Douglas defense. The pointers scored twice in each of the first two innings, then piled on a combined eight in the final two to blank the mighty Ducks, 12-0, we knew coming in it was going to be a grind until we got that Douglas, starting pitcher, Tyler Lewis off the mound, Sparrows point coach Mark Klein said. Once we got him off, we knew we had a real good shot of running away with it. The pointers opened the scoring in the first inning as junior shortstop pitcher Dustin Morris lined a two-run double to left field. Sparrows point poked at Douglas defense again in the second when senior designated hitter Nathan Cottle drew a walk, stole second, advanced to third on a fielder's choice and scored on a ball that got past the catcher. Junior third baseman Ben Hester made the score 4-0 with an RBI double to center field. Lewis, the Ducks' ace, settled down, allowing no runs the next three innings, then ran into trouble. The game unraveled after the fifth, Morris said. That gave us a boost. After Lewis recorded his ninth strikeout of the game to start the sixth inning, catcher Brian Filipkowski walked and starting pitcher Brett Johnson doubled. Shortstop Darius Madison replaced Lewis on the mound. While senior James Bertholdt battled at the plate, Filipkowski and Johnson scored on pitches that went to the backstop. Bertholdt tripled to deep center, followed by a double by Hester that scored Bertholdt. Junior Drew Gorsuch doubled, scoring Hester, and scored on a missed throw. Larry Gordon was brought in to pitch and retired the next two batters to end the inning, but when the dust settled, it was 9-0 Sparrows point. The pointers added three runs in the seventh off Gordon, two on bases loaded walks, we knew we wanted to dominate. Hester said. Once we did, everyone got more confident, even though every starting pointer, as well as a handful of junior varsity players, scored in the game, Hester's jack-of-all-trades performance rose above the rest. The junior, who shut out Pikesville with a one-hitter in his previous start, walked twice, hit two doubles, drove in three runs and took the mound for the final inning to strike out two and get another out, Bent Hester is a secret weapon, a kid that nobody knows about with a beautiful swing, Klein said. Johnson, who struck out four, and Morris, who fanned two, combined with Hester to hold the Ducks to three hits. Despite the lopsided victory, Klein and his players were unhappy by one aspect of the pointer's game, the silence in the dugout, we had a lack of energy today, Morris said. Against Pikesville, we were all over the place, you couldn't shut us up. We need that tomorrow, Douglas finished with an 11-6 record, we saw a lot of heart coach Jim Foster said, citing his team's work through summer, fall and winter. We're getting a $2 million field soon, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I've always defined success not where you go but where you are in relation to where you started. and where they started to where they are is very successful. Sparrows Point will take on Boonesboro in the state semifinal Tuesday at 7 p.m. at McCurdy Field in Frederick. Caption sights and sounds from Notre Dame Preps victory over McDonough on Friday night in girls lacrosse, the snapping the Eagles' 198-game winning streak in the process, with the win, NDP claimed the Interscholastic Athletic Association of Maryland A Conference Championship. Carl Merton Farron, Baltimore Sun Video, Sights and Sounds from Notre Dame Preps victory over McDonough on Friday night in girls lacrosse, the snapping the Eagles' 198-game winning streak in the process, with the win, NDP claimed the Interscholastic Athletic Association of Maryland A Conference Championship. Carl Merton Farron, Baltimore Sun Video, Caption Head Coach John Harbaugh, QB Lamar Jackson and I Hayden Hurst comment on Ravens rookie minicamp.
Algerina Perna, Baltimore Sun Video, Head Coach John Harbaugh, QB Lamar Jackson and I Hayden Hurst comment on Ravens rookie minicamp. Algerina Perna, Baltimore Sun Video, Kufor Minnick at BaltSun.com, Twitter.com slash Kat Fominick.